For most people, home video means something like this. I must <laughs> I, rehearsals. I forgot to take this off the end. This is a home video machine, a video eight. Now, can you smile? You're looking great. That's very good. Uh, now, if you're a millionaire, Mike Oldfield, for instance, uh, home video can mean putting two million pounds worth of video equipment into your spare bedroom and making pictures that look very much like this. What actually first awakened your interest in, in making videos like this? Well, I think I've always been interested in surrealist art. And it occurred to me, I wonder what sort of art somebody like Magritte would, would have made if he could... If he was around now and he had access to video technology, got the idea for making moving, moving the Greeks. It's all very well having that idea, but it's uh, an awful big investment to put your own studio together like this. It is, yes. Well, my, my philosophy is to make music as good as I can, to earn enough money to buy more gear, to make better music and do bigger things, you know, and to keep progressing. So this is what I've done over the last few years. Is I've had a lot of success, especially in Germany. And um, most of it has been invested bit by bit in more audio equipment and then finally all this, this video equipment. You were talking earlier about music and pictures happening simultaneously. I started off with some pictures. I had a spinning jug, a spinning guitar, a fish. And I thought, I've got to write a song about this. Now, there was a fish, there was a spinning jug. <laughs> on, um, what sort of song is this going to be? I thought it was going to be a crazy song. <clears throat> so um, I was sitting down in the pub and I thought, if I write a song about dreams, then you could put literally any image to that. And that's the way I've found of knitting it all together. How long was it in the making? The video, or to edit, was about two or three weeks. But I've been out and about gathering pictures, doing things next door, working with a graphics computer over there since May. Do you think anybody else could really afford to do it the way you do? No, obviously not. I mean, there are people who, like Pete Townsend's got his own editing suite. And there's obviously a huge amount of money, but I hope to justify that by producing good enough material from it. Did you need to spend this much? Yes, to get as good results as we've got there, which I believe that they're good. And it's probably the world's first million pound video.